I, before I tell you how Zimbabwe is fulfilling the exact scriptures of Joseph of the Old Testament, here's a thought I want to share with you. Many people doubt Jesus Christ or his Bible. As Christians, do not be quick to be angry at them. Maybe there's nothing that they've seen. The book of Hebrews 13.8 says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, this means that God can do today what he did in the Old or the New Testament, in short, what he did in the days of the Bible. God is fulfilling the exact scriptures that he wants to fulfill in the time of Joseph. Because in the Old Testament, there was seven years of plenty and then seven years of famine. It was a cycle to illustrate 2002 to 2009 in Zimbabwe, these were seven years of famine or seven years of hardship. 2008 was the most difficult year. It fits in the cycle of 2002 to 2009, like I said, seven years of what? Hardships or famine. Then 2009 to 2016, it was seven years of plenty. The shops were full of goods. 2008, you walk in a typical shop, you'd find nothing. 2009 to 2016, the shops were full, plenty. It was a year of plenty. So these were seven years of plenty. And people were now using U.S. dollars. Now we're in the cycle of 2016 to 2023. Again, famine and hardships. Now as a thought, most people, they want a God who does whatever they want to do. Now, God does what he wants to do. Why would he choose the very scriptures of the time of Joseph to give a memorial of his word? To remind the people that this is the evidence that the word of God is true. Yes, the years of difficulty are very hard, but if you are a true Christian, why do you complain? Why not rejoice that God is proving that his word is true? And he's chosen a small humble nation called Zimbabwe to fulfill the exact scriptures that were there in the time of Joseph. Seven years of plenty, seven years of famine, and so on and so on. So this is historic in the sense that God is proving, even to the people who don't believe that his word is, is true. And this is the evidence. I'm saying, in the Old Testament, you had seven years of plenty, seven years of famine in the time of Joseph. And the very same cycle repeats in Zimbabwe. Now we're in the cycle of 2016 to 2023, which are seven years of famine or hardships, extreme hardships. It would be good for you to share this video because it is one of those rare videos which, you know, proves that Jesus Christ is alive, which proves that his word is true. The other thing, just go to the description part of this video and support the work in any way you can. Because this video is not against the atheists or against people who don't believe in Christ. Its aim is to show them that the word of God is true in Jesus Christ's love. Because this is not a coincidence. In the time of the Bible, you've got seven years of famine, seven years of plenty, or vice versa, so and so on. Then in Zimbabwe, you've got the exact same, same cycle. Seven years of what? Plenty. Yeah. 2009, 2009 to 2016, which is plenty. Then 2016 to 2023, you've got seven years of uh, famine. Is God giving a memorial? That is what is true. And this is the evidence. Oh, I love the things of God so much. I hope you've been blessed. So share the video and support this work of grace. God bless you.